Louder. Louder. teach you how to do how to paint your own tires you have the mat yep first we didn't do it but we you're supposed to clean it before you mask it but we masked it first before you cleaned it and then I'm almost done masking he's done and after this we'll we'll clean we'll clean the tire the rims because no one likes white only chrome or teal we're painting the teal like the back ones the back one, back tires, and we're just gonna mask them off. Then we'll show you how to paint them. Now we're gonna show you how to clean. Okay, first you get a paper towel, wet it, and just wipe around here. Clean off the bearing because we still have to mask off. Oh, it's still dirty because we went mudding. No, I'm just kidding. Dirt flying. And now you gotta clean off the bearing because we gotta mask off the bearing. Wipe it off dry. The rim dry. Now we're just gonna show you how to mask it, mask off the bearing. If you have bearings in your tires, well, we need two. So first, get one piece of masking tape and get that outline. Press it so because you're gonna have to razor blade it so you don't get this extra. Then. Get another piece, put it right there, crease it, just like this one right here, creased. Now then you get a razor blade, razor blade, and then you cut it. Make sure not to scratch your paint, well, it doesn't matter. Oops. You want to spin the wheel while you razor blade. Yeah, it so makes you it, don't... it helps it. Makes it easier. And you just peel that off. Not nicely done, but then we'll just... It'll, it'll get there. Yeah. But you can really clean it up as much as you want. Well, we don't really care about that much. Yeah. Doesn't really matter to us. Now, we just masked off both bearings, and now we're just going to sandpaper it so the paint sticks a little. Spin your tire while you sandpaper it. it makes it easier with the bearing. The rims and there's powder right here. See all that wet powder on there? Let me focus. We just sent. Don't focus. Come on, focus. All right, but we this just... that powder. Yeah. Now, now we just shake this out, and now we're gonna go paint them. You gotta clean them once more. Yeah, so. one, a little bit more, and we'll be to get good. all that extra powder out. Yeah, so you don't get, like, grits, so it doesn't look like grits. And, and we forgot to mask off this part, so we just finished masking that part, so we don't paint it over. And now we're going to take it outside and paint it. Yep. First, you get your pant. We're going to paint them teal. Then you get a heat gun. Plug it in. This is if you want, like, a professional-looking yeah, like, job. Like if you want to look at, like, some wheels over there, we paint these wheels over here. We just painted those, like, a couple weeks ago. Now we're just going to heat it up. You want to spin it while you heat it up. Turn it on full. You want to go up and down against the whole can because if you heat up one spot, it's gonna like really like that heat up the really can. Work that much. Yeah. You want to heat up the paint inside. So after you heat up the paint, you want to shake it up for at least like a minute because it helps get the paint all moving around and get ready to spray. But now that we're done spraying it, we can start spraying the wheels. You want to go a light coat for the first coat, not full, but you want to go like a light, a super light coat. Like don't just hold it down. Yeah, that's it good. Wet. That's good. Yeah. You want to just get like a super light coat so you can still see the color under it, but like yeah, not, not, it's not a not full as coat because it'll, it'll help the plastic up to stick better. Make sure you get like every part. Yeah, try to go every way you can. If I got it wet a little. No, it's just a tire. After you're done painting, we have to, you the wait first for, coat. Yeah, after you're done painting, like the first coat, then you like wait you wanna, five minutes. Wait, ten, wait how five long to ten minutes. On here? Like five to ten minutes. That's what most of it says. After five to ten minutes, then you do a second coat. 
then wait five to ten minutes and do a sec third coat. Then you would heat up glossifier. We want to go we glossifier because yeah, it makes it look a lot better. Yeah, make a lower go kart look fancy. After you heat up that, then you just spray it like the same thing, not three coats, but like two coats. Mm. So it looks better. We just waited five to ten minutes. So now we gotta go like a medium coat, like a second coat, if you, whatever you want to call it. You want to go. Make sure you cover it the second coat. You want to go a medium coat. Don't go heavy. Don't go light. You want to go like just in the middle, just so you get the paint. It all painted up. A medium coat or a second coat, you have to let it sit like like the first coat. Let it sit for five to ten minutes, then come back and do the third coat, and that'll be the finish. Then we'll throw them on the go kart and we'll and then show put you the that. glossifier on too while we're at oh, yeah. it. Yeah, forgot about that. That'll be after after five to ten minutes. So you, you waited two, five to ten minutes for the second coat. You want to go for the a deeper third coat. You want to really get in there. Cause this is gonna be the last coat for paint, and we're gonna do glossifier. If you're not, then it's fine. You don't have to do glossifier. We want to. I mean, if you're doing it on a car, you could, but you don't have to. Yeah. This makes it look shinier. See that shine right there? You wanna go for a me a nice thick coat, so it's able to rip the plastic up off. If you're doing plastic, but if you're just doing paint, it's just paint. Now we're just gonna gloss a fire. Wait, you don't have to heat up the can this time, but we're not going to. So you only need like one or two coats on the second one. Now we're just gonna peel off the plastic, the tape. masking tape. Yeah. With plastic, you have to be careful because the plastic yeah, will dry to the masking tape too. So and you gotta get a razor blade. And you might have to get a razor blade. Only if it sticks. But most of the time it will stick. Yeah. So you might you don't want to ruin the paint, so. So just cut it. Yeah. It'll work perfect with a razor blade. A sharp razor blade. And if it rip, if you rip it up a little, just push it down with your nail. Looks pretty good. It should, we just got a little messed up right yeah. there from the plastic dip, but it's not gonna kill us. We don't really yeah. care. Yeah. Now I just gotta pull up the bearing. Just get an edge of it and pull it up with the, or you can go from the middle. Peel it up. Might have to raise bite that too, but. You'll barely see it if it doesn't come up a little. Now we're we just put the tires on and they look pretty good. They're pretty tight on there. And they look pretty tight and they look kinda of good. They look kinda of good but they're yeah. alright, but yeah, they're not the best paint job. That's how you can paint your go-kart wheels. Or tires or whatever you're painting. Or car wheels with paint. Mm -hmm. And then that's pretty much the whole that's pretty much it. And like, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.